I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Good day and welcome back to the Valder BB Show as I wrap up my morning with Letitia Barr. She's here to give us some great information, so hold on. Letitia, welcome to the Valder BB Show for the first time. Thank you so much for having me on. It's a pleasure to be here. And help me educate my audience. Give me some information that they can walk away with and say, I learned something. Absolutely. So I'm here to talk about how to keep teens engaged this summer. And I'm a mom of two high schoolers. I teach middle school computer science. So I'm around kids and teens quite a bit. And we've had quite the year. So even though it might seem like a good time to do a reset, a digital detox after virtual and hybrid school, there are some good reasons to allow teens to use technology and have some screen time this summer, especially concerning social media. Social media, that's the topic of the dinner table. I want my audience to know that Leticia Barr, she's the tech savvy mom. Leticia, how can parents use technology and social media to their advantage? It's here, it's staying. That's a great question. Well, there was a recent Common Sense Media study that just came out a couple weeks ago, and they surveyed 14 to 22 year old social media users, and they found that of the 50 that of those who respond, 53% of those surveyed said social media was really important for staying connected to family and friends, especially during social distancing. So we know technology can have many benefits for teens, including socialization, access to the news, freedom of expression. It can even increase exposure to the world and promote interests in different cultures and experiences. So one great tool to use is Yubo. It's the leading platform for Generation Z to socialize online. It has a really broad reach of over 50 million users. And and it's used in more than 40 countries. So this global perspective really helps to broaden horizons and connections to other young people around the world by allowing teens to meet people, discover new cultures, learn and maybe practice languages that they've been learning during the school year. You can connect with a native speaker in another country and really practice those language skills so you don't lose those skills over the summer months. So that's a really great cu curricular connection that um, helps, you know, eliminate the slumber slide a little bit, keeps those skills active. But then also there's some fun stuff to do with Yubo. They have live streams available. So Yubo really allows young people to connect reality and social media as they make new friends online and have fun this summer. Okay, I'm going to take this question from uh, one of the platforms that listens and views us, and this one's coming from Instagram. They want to know how safe is Yubo? They have not heard of this. That's a good question. So um, Yubo has a lot of built-in safety tools on the app, and I always encourage parents to have conversations about safety. We've been through a global pandemic. In real life, safety has been really important, but digital safety is just as important as ever. So this summer, if you haven't heard of an app, take a look at it yourself. So if you haven't heard of Yubo, go to yubo.live, take a look at it yourself before your kids come to you and you realize that they're using it. But if they're already using something that you're not familiar with, have them be the expert. Say, hey, can you teach me about this? Can you show me what you're doing? Kids always love being the experts and knowing more than we do, frankly. So make them the teacher, have them teach it to you, talk about the things that you're seeing, ask them how they're using it, ask their friends how they're using it. And really what you're doing is learning about the app itself, but you're creating a conversation. Creating conversations is so, so important. You need to create that space where they can always come to you for anything that may be questionable, whether in real life or online. So thinking about Yubo, Yubo has a lot of built-in safety tools on the app. More than 90% of the users are between the ages of 14 and 18, but users are separated by age. So this means users can make new friends of the same age. They can also connect to people who have the same interests. Okay, and finally, I'll take this one off of Instagram also. They say for their kids' safety, they have created pods where they encourage them to communicate to others in this this app. Is Yubo, uh, uh, can it gather people like that? 
Yubo can I think that's people. what they're asking. Oh, yes. Well, Yubo can connect people who have the same interests. So you always you should always take a look at the app with your child and make sure, you know, make sure that the people they're connecting with, not just on Yubo, but any social platform, um, making sure and keeping those safety measures top of mind. And, you know, just knowing who your children are connecting to through any digital tool is so important, not just with Yubo, but any tool. OK, any more tips for our parents this summer? Because summer is here. Well, I think it's really important to mentor and not monitor. I mean, you do need to monitor, of course, but be that mentor. We can't expect our kids to do one thing if we're doing another. So be consistent with what you're saying, but also what you're showing them you want them to do and what how you want them to behave when they're using screens. So mentor, not monitor what your kids are doing online by setting an example. All right, Leticia, I'm going to take this advice to heart because I understand you're the mom of two teenagers and there's not a more fulfilling job in the world. <laughs> Indeed, so, I love it. I love having teens. I've loved every age that my kids have been, but I'm certainly enjoying teenagers. And then I also right. teach teenagers as well. So spend yeah, a lot of time they're... with teens over here. That's a good job you've got there. Online, once again, where do my audience go, Leticia? For more information about Yubo, go to yubo.live. And for technology, education, and parenting tips, you can go to my website, techsavvymama.com. Thank you so much for being on the Valder BB Show and educating my parents. I appreciate it. You're so welcome. Thanks for having me. I look forward to being on again soon. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB Show broadcast on radio and television. And this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.